Hello there guys and welcome to another episode of Knox. Welcome to my channel. I'm Rovis Lambine. Peace be upon you guys. Much love. Yeah, guys, thanks for joining again. Um, it's been really fun shooting Knox and uh, yeah, and I just I shot a video about an hour ago and um, it was really fun. I just want to come straight back to it. So I haven't been uploading lately due to power outages and also severe weather in my area. So I'm not exactly sure when or how the power is going to when it's going to go off or not so i've been holding out for a while because I, I really don't like um going over an, an, an area and gameplay more than once i really i feel like there's an authenticity that comes into effect when you're playing the game for the first time and it really just makes the video slightly more interesting for me and uh, i suppose also for some of the viewers out there on the channel um yeah guys Knox is a role-playing game i just want to thank you guys for all your participation in the channel whatever it may be um i thank you guys for choosing to spend this time with me or investing some of, even if it's 30 seconds of your time i really appreciate it guys thank you um hopefully this community can grow and one day turn into something big and that would be really special um so yeah guys a little bit about Knox. i mean we're way in already i mean you guys should know enough about it by now but it's an action rpg it's really old it comes from back in the days way gone and when um like it's just really old guys i got it for free on origin when origin was still releasing free games um i got it a while back and i tried to play it but i think i was uh i don't think my brain was ready and I tried to play as the wizard and I really didn't get far. I couldn't get past the first area. Um, it was just really difficult. But uh, I think the warrior, the difficulty increment might happen when you go from warrior to wizard. And there's three classes. The first class is warrior, which we have played as through throughout this playthrough. Um, and then the second is sorcerer or conjurer. I think it's called conjurer, which is sort of a blend between the warrior and the wizard. Um, and then finally, the final class is the wizard. And I, I have a sneaky suspicion that that's the difficulty increment because I don't think we actually were able to choose our difficulty. If we did, I would have chosen easy. You guys know that. Um, but yeah, it's been really fun, guys. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. We'll go for about an hour and we we'll see how far we get. Luckily, I was able to shoot about an hour and 15, hour and 8 minutes in the last video. Um, but yeah, we don't know if that'll be the case. So let's go ahead and do our failsafe save. So if I do lose power, I can just start here again. But yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen, guys. And we can maybe finish Nox. I don't know. Oh, these guys are, are hard. Oh, he just killed me. You failed to regain the orb. Yes, I'm quite aware of this fact that I failed. You need not remind me, Hecuba. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get out our Musa hammer. We're going to beat the living daylights out of this dude. We are going to bring the hurt. We are going to bring the pain. And it's not going to be nice it's gonna be painful <clears throat> like that painful kind of pain oh yeah oh yeah oh so we want to take the hammer these guys have proven to be a wonderful source of armor um, let's just see what is that So I can only identify stuff that's in my inventory. <clears throat> 150, 259, 250, 250. Okay, so this armor is only 250. What is this? 288 and 259. Oh, well, we can throw this away. This is about finished. Sturdy arms, sturdy arms of the dragon scale. Do we really need more hammers? That's the question. Um, do we need the kite shield? It doesn't have an armor value. Um, let's see, 
are there any super weapons that we can okay let's chuck this away maybe we get lucky guys okay that's a cool detail so if you take off your cape take off your cape your your armor has got to go at the same time that's quite clever embers and collision maybe we get lucky okay cool because I really want to invest my efforts into the armor because yeah we like retrieve the orb okay you know because So I wonder if I was supposed to come here. Did I drop my hammer by accident? I must have. These shoes can go... 183. Yeah. Ditch the shoes. Okay, save. I don't know if I should have come this way. What's this? Wow. Grand Silver Greatsword of Shock and Collision. Damn. Uh, what can we throw away? What is worth throwing away for this thing? Okay, what is our least durable Warhammer? Okay, let's These hammers are what's weighing me down What is this? Grand Silver Greatsword of Shock and Collision hmm. What can we turf, guys? Let's ditch this Okay, what does that badass sword actually do? What is its damage? 98 level 1 shock level 3 shock and level 1 impact that's pretty good okay we're using what we're using for now I do okay so we basically came here for that sword okay and brought me back here save did I start the clock yes I did I was too fast for these traps boy some of these effects are just really good I can use the vampire hammer that might serve me well for a while because we might want to um, save save our potions for the main battle for the final battle 
or whatever bosses we might face. So let's use the leech thing and then the, the flame sword in case. No, we'll use the halberd. <gasps> to use the shuriken now through this window to pop open these guys are doing reaping havoc to my armor eh? okay <laughs> Okay, I've got the blue one now. Blue flame is not supposed to hurt me. A sentry ray to the north has been disabled. Wonderful. Very happy about that. Thanks. Down I go. Look, these necromancers, um, these blue guys. They're still pretty dangerous, you know, there's still a lot of enemies in the game that'll one hit kill you. And you know, that is not an easy fact to deal with. Yeah, I would imagine this ray is like death on discovery. Holy shit. Oh, but if I can lure if I can lure them into the ray, they also get cheesed. So, man, that's a pretty good idea. Save. Shit's about to get hardcore. So, all I have to do is stay behind the ray, boy. Shit. I've got to lure these. Oh, damn it! I've got to lure these guys into the ray somehow. So I'm gonna run forward, run around, and they're gonna get vaporized. Come on, come on. Yeah, boy. Man, I'm smart. It should be. Yeah, they really threw me a curveball there. far am I going for this one piece? Oh, hello. Slew that dude. The rest of the monsters are like, hey, what's going on here? Ah, I'm dead. As we can say. I 
I probably missed so many secrets in this game already. out again. Always like a good potion. Oh, I can save to auto save. <laughs> are really tough okay making good headway I uh, guys okay so it brought me back here I can put the thing in my box in. Oh, do I literally have to place them myself? Oh, getting boss vibes, guys. Getting some serious boss vibes. Okay, so we got our best weapon selected, actually. One, one shot, one killed me. Huh. <laughs> this hammer is a bit too slow. Oh, these guys make me drop my weapon. And they steal from me. Okay, so they are so a bit more dangerous when there's two of them. I can see that. Okay, finished off those dudes. Let's get back to the hammer. Going, guys. Don't say no to a potion. Ooh, almost missed that one. And really close. Looks like we've got. Uh, okay. <laughs> Preempted that one. Went a bit too quickly. Wow, 
Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> oh no. I'm so impatient. <laughs> it is retarded, guys. Gotta wait. You know how nervous my, my finger is right now. Okay, let's save so we don't have to go through all of that again when I cock up. Gotta be patient, man. Okay, let's save again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Run! Right, now we can really save. Okay, so... Dude, there's a big guy sitting there. Doesn't look like a statue. They make me drop my weapon. Bastards. That's the shit with those guys, is they make you drop your weapon. Oh, you see, that's the brilliance of the halberd, is that they, they try and make me drop it, but I can't drop it. So... I died. I keep forgetting my war cry and how effective it is against guys that use magic. Damn it. I don't want to go down there because I think there's like a whole shit ton of them there. One kill, one save, guys. Probably gonna still fight this Mursa monster. We don't I'll be literally I'll be shocked the chests out there okay here's a story moment yeah I'm sure oh, I nailed that guy so quickly of nature star. What does that do? Uh, what does it do? Let me play it home. Alright, let's wear something red. has almost had it. We'll go a little bit further. He looks like he was some kind of head honcho. He didn't talk to me though, so... I don't know. He's like a guardian. I sense holes. 
Holy shit. Oh no, I thought I was in cover. Damn. That was hardcore. Okay, so we'll save, yeah. It's like all I do in this game is save, eh, guys? What? Damn it, I'm gonna wing it. Super speed. Super speed. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna take a guess and save, yeah. Oh no. Oh, okay, so I switched them off. Alright. Come on. Oh, I didn't switch it off. Switch another one off. Save. Gosh. It's tense, guys. It's tense. Now all I need is for them to start switching back on automatically. Then I'm in the deep doo-doo. For some reason blue flame doesn't kill me. Why did they even put it there? Aesthetic appeal, you think? Whoa. Whoa. I, th I feel like I was supposed to get shocked there. I know what I'm gonna do. Alright, dude. Do your worst. Do your absolute worst. Do your absolute worst. Ah, oh, he's been taken. Damn it. Oh, the halberd works pretty good against those guys. Save again. Even though I'm at freaking death's door, yeah. That guy flattened me in one hit. I think it's time for the hammer, guys. Holy shit. Oh, he's still alive. I'm 
Out of potions. Shit. Nah, I can't go without potions, guys. Solve that problem. Okay, now I just gotta switch off this uh, beam. It's so cool how this effect takes place when you hit the main menu. I wonder if something like that actually happened by accident. Oh, is this the thing? <laughs> I can hear Hecuba. By the dark vow etched in my necromancer's blood, I command thee, obliterate him! Okay, so she's running. Holy poop sticks. <laughs> Dude, I'm making a devastation. Wow, I'm badass. How did this happen? So I'm standing near the mana crystal to recharge. So do. So do. Do I need mana now? If I need mana, where is it? Where's the list? Oh, oh damn. Now I've got to use mana and stuff. Jeez, that makes things way complicated. Get some! Oh, I've literally got a kick on this. I need potions. I've got one freaking potion left. It's not good. It'd be great if this thing had a life steal. That would be awesome. Yo, guys, we are powerful. But that just makes you wonder how powerful Hecuba is. Oh, take a lot of potion would be amazing right now and I've got to face Hecuba with one health potion what does this thing do oh I can only be used by conjurers or oh, there's no point okay let's ditch all this old armor
So is she gonna shock me, you think? Titan two seventy eight two eighty eight. Yeah, so this blue armor is actually pretty badass, and I think it was designed to be used against Hecuba, to be honest. Dude, I need health. I really need health. This is gonna be so tight. <laughs> Come on, eyes a bit of health potions, guys. Granted, Hecuba's escape by teleporter to the underworld is a sign of her desperation, but as long as she wears her crown and holds the wand of death, no one will sleep soundly in Nox tonight. And you, lad, can't return to Earth until her fate is sealed. You must pursue her into the underworld, complete her utter defeat. For the glory of Fire Knight standing today, and the ones who fell before on the field of valor, do it for them, lad. Get Hecuba! You have no place here, not in my domain, not in this land! But your infernal meddling will not go unanswered. Your cursed soul will rot in the underworld for eternity. So much to learn for so small a brain. Catch me if you can! <laughs> Your me. mission to the underworld to finish me was due. Okay, so we're gonna save after that whole chat Brand sequence. Attack. I've seen this before, seen that, done that. Okay, so we got one so potion. Much to learn for so, small the <laughs> so we save and we and we make do, guys. <laughs> Just gotta make sure we keep up with the mana. She killed me. How did she kill me? I didn't even see. Potions, no. I don't think I should save just yet. But a potion would be great. Okay, I'll save now. save when she runs away from me again. Do they 
they spawn new potions or is that all Of you is killing her. And I've used all my potions. Used all my potions. I think as long as I'm attacking her, you can't attack me. Making progress. No, I will not allow it. I will not. Your constant interference has ruptured my carefully laid plans, but your pathetic body, blood, and soul will be mine. I. Okay, so we're gonna save again. That was the right idea. He's somewhere here. Oh, I must recharge the staff first. Hey. Did they spawn more potions? Anything? No, they didn't spawn more potions. drop of health counts. They must be dropping more potions if this is happening. Underworld, eh? Suddenly there's like a whole selection of save games on the list. <laughs> okay, where is she? Oh, good thing I charged my mana now. I forgot all about that. Oh, does this... That delivers more... Pressure. Oh, it does. I just have to press the button and I get more potions delivered. Got two potions. Uh 
three potions. Four potions. <laughs> These guys, these little red guys, actually do a mountain of damage. And I've got to find her. Start fighting her again, because maybe she's recharging as well. Collecting these potions. Which will be very bad news. Just save again. Chronic saving. She's here in the corner So I need to get back there. Come on, Hecuba, where are you? question does she actually pick up the pick up the health kits Saving every step forward counts. Yeah, I can't carry any more potions apparently. Come on, we're gonna do this, guys. Time to slay the Hecubation. I'll seek her out and teach her a lesson about slaying. What it truly means to have power. Where is she now? She's getting dicey guys. I sense like never ending battle for good going down here. No 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 no. No run run. No run run from me. She's running. She's running away. No ways did I do it. No! It shall not end like this! I shall return! Wow.
What you do with the TV, Jack? Jack, are you all right? Jack, are you smoking? What did you do to your shirt, Jackie? Jack, why are you looking at me like that? Jackie, Jackie, answer me, Jack. Where's the TV, Jackie? Where's that smell? <laughs> Congratulations, warrior. You have defeated Hecuba. Do you think you have what it takes to play as a wizard? No, I highly doubt that. So that actually answers our question as far as the difficulty increment goes. So obviously the warrior class is the easiest. So look, that's always been a, a thing for me when I play role-playing games. Like even as a kid, I mean, I used to play Diablo 2 with my brother and um, also Dungeon Siege. Like you guys know, we've done Dungeon Siege on the channel. Like my thing, I was always, always go with the warrior class because I was too young to really understand the other magical and other mechanics of the game so warrior class has really always just been a go-to for me when it comes to role-playing games not so much anymore hey um nowadays i like to work my brain a bit so sometimes i take the mage or the magical characters because it also i mean sometimes you can ask yourself you're like okay i'm playing a role-playing game which is essentially about magic and spells most of the time um, so why not del delve into the whole concept of magic and um, so, when, so that's why lately I choose like more complex character types um, so yeah or, or another thing of mine I think even before the warrior phase I went through I love being the archer love being the archer always chose the archer I don't know why it was just the whole idea of shooting from far away was, was very appealing to me so that's how I did I always went did my thing um paul mercier michael s booth julie brugman david fries uh. loving families and dear friends thank you for playing Knox. wow guys we did it we finished Knox, and how much time do we have on the clock 50 minutes so this 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 video only took us about 45 minutes of gameplay to finish off Nox. yeah guys it was awesome i mean it's self-explanatory because you've seen the series and you've seen what's happened throughout the game and uh some of you maybe few of you've actually been watching the full series um so you'd understand where we've come from and yeah it's just this game when you face new opponents that's the one thing is you never know what to expect so that's why i'm constantly saving all the time because sometimes you'll get a, a character an enemy like hecuba where you can't and the thing is is you can't judge the enemy's health you never know how much health they're gonna have you can only run in and do what you know how to do and to fight those enemies you never really have a gauge of what to expect unless you've already faced that enemy so but um the most dangerous of enemies have always been the spellcasters um always 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 um because they always have like these one hit number one hit wonders that kill you immediately and you never see them coming and they don't always deploy those skills often i did find is when, when you corner a mage or magical enemy they tend to use that that weapon against you but um things started smoothing out once i started using the um the abilities the special abilities for the warrior so what really actually made a long headway is the shout is the war cry because that obviously as you guys know disables it um what is the correct term um there's a sort of deaf deafening term or something that they use in magic games like it makes the magic the caster unable to cast their spells so all they can really do is run but the issue is is like i said they will run into a corner and you'll try and fight them in the corner because you know okay i got this guy now he's not gonna run i can get him maybe and that's the thing you never know like maybe i can get him maybe i won't that's the shit that's why i'm always saving and so it got to a point where I'd save after every big kill like I don't mind the bats the zombies and all that stuff um, there was what was surprising what was a very unique enemy that didn't use that often was the um, the warriors in the catacombs those guys with the red um, 
uh, armor and stuff that we faced near the end in the last two videos, they were pretty strong. I mean, they were also wielding these hammers that had uh, vampirism, so basically lifesteal. So if they hit you with that hammer, they're just getting more and more strong. So there's another guy that you've got to deal with quickly somehow, um, but who's also going to hit you twice and you're dead. So yeah, that was quite intense. Um, I think I was, I, in the final boss, I was struggling. I was really struggling until I clicked and realized how to get the potions to recycle so you could go pick up more potions. Um, but I also learned that on, along the way. But we did die a few times, guys. But I do, something I can say with this game is I think the most difficult phase of the game is actually the beginning. Um, the mission that I actually found to be the most difficult was the catacombs in the second town of x where we had to go into the catacombs to just to pick something up and then yeah before we started collecting pieces of the ma of the magic weapon of the ultimate weapon um those catacombs really freaked me out like uh, i got so lost and I, I really i was on low health and at that point i wasn't really too up and running with the mechanics of the game so that was intense so, so the beginning was actually the hard part of this game all right, guys, that's enough talk about Knox. I'm so stoked that we could finish in another entire playthrough on the channel. So awesome. Um, that's Knox, guys. A game from the past, blast from the past that we have now um, uh, snuffed out. So we won't be playing any more Knox, guys. I do understand there's still the Condra and the um, uh, Mage class, Wizard class, but I'm not going to do that. I, I really, uh, I think one touch and one view on the game is good enough maybe you can find some other people who have played this game with the with the conjurer and the wizard but guys um i mean i can do it i can do it but that would just make this whole series and this whole video feel like hard work which is not why i do this i don't do this so that i work hard i do this because i enjoy it and i want to enjoy it so i could go and shoot a conjurer campaign and a wizard camp but guys I'm going to be miserable doing it. I'm not going to enjoy it. So that's it for Knox, guys. Thanks for all your particip participation in this series. It's come to an end. We finished another game. A hard game, be uh, to be frank. And yeah, it's, it's it was a challenge and we did it, guys. So I'm going to start shooting some other videos. I'm glad to finish, uh, finish Knox off. Guys, I'm going to just say goodbye to you for now. Catch me in the next series. Uh, Rover Slam being out, guys. Peace. Much love. Thank you again for donating this time to me and enjoying this game with me. This old game um, that I honestly don't think anyone has heard of. <laughs> I don't think I don't think any of us are familiar with Nox. Like we probably are with Warcraft. Diablo is a big one that people know. Dungeon Siege is another, and then we have like Dungeons and Dragons. And then another Might and Magic, that's an old series that's really that has actually faded away. It isn't really happening. Elder Scrolls, I've got Oblivion, and those kind of games. We all know those games, but we have never heard of Nox. Never. Um, but this game actually makes me think of another one called Heart of Darkness. And um, that was a game I played on PlayStation 1. That was also like ridiculously hard. But I also think I was a very young kid when I played it. So maybe I, I wouldn't understand what's going on. But I, I, have a, I would like to see if I can find that game. So yeah, guys, that's it for me in this series. That's it for me in this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, guys. Much love. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I really did. And it's it just was great. Cheers, guys.